sweet you know to win um, because it just shows your hard work and your dedication to just competing and it's my first world title and my first um, medal for my coach Mr. Walcott so I'm glad about that. Shelly, a quick one. Uh, what is special about this year? For the third time you've done 10.67. I saw you in Kenya. I was there. I was in Paris when you did 10.67. Today 10.67. What's special about that? Uh, <laughs> well, there's definitely something special about it, but I'm glad I was able to do it again. And for me, you know, championship is always... It's a, it's weird that, you know, in championship you're thinking about so many things and you just want to win, you know, for a lot of people. So you technically, sometimes you'll be off, but to be able to come out with a win is good. And I look forward to running. I have another 100 to run in Poland, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. And hopefully different conditions, so hopefully a lot more relaxed so you can have a better execution. What's your Last time question. up there today? Excuse me? Your son was there? Your son yes, there? my son was in the stands. My son is not very camera friendly. So, but he was there and I'm glad that he'll have this moment to cherish and to see and to go back and to see the hard work that I've been doing and just never counting myself out as, as an athlete. You won. Right, thank you. Was a thank you. Race, no, I definitely don't think it was a perfect race. As I said I'll before. Can you let us know your video routine? Okay, so I'm a TLB girl. So I just use the little, we call it now, Blush. Blush. A little foundation, a little powder. Not too extra because I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just learning. So nothing extra. And then, yeah, and it has been working. So, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't a perfect race. As I said, in a championship, it's always hit and miss, you know. But you're glad that you come out with a win. And, you know, the conditions are intense and it's very different because you're focused on just getting out and running getting to the line first so yeah i definitely think it wasn't technically the best race so i'm um, hopeful i'll be able to put that together the one next more question couple of shelly do you put pressure on yourself i mean there or you know feeling pressure from others you know you're the world champion multiple times and you know there's a lot of expectations do you put pressure yeah there's a lot of expectations i'm sure but that has nothing to do with me you know <laughs> i'm just focused on running my race and following instruction of my coach if i sit and worry about the opinions of 20 other people then i'll never hear the voice that i need to hear and that's my own voice and my coach's voice so i focus on those two things and i eliminate anything else and i get to the line and i compete can you just tell me what this means for like you know a lot of little girls who look up to you and you being so consistent what does it mean for them yeah um for me i hope it shows them that you know age doesn't change anything you can be in your 20s you can be in your 30s and you can still accomplish greatness so you just have to believe in yourself and try Trust your instinct and your gut. Listen to your coach, show up and compete. Thank you very much.